Well, welcome back, and uh, I guess we're going to see if we can <laughs> try to keep these things shorter. <laughs> I don't know. I just, rambled. I just like I said, I don't script anything. I just, things pop into my head, and sometimes I have to decide whether I really want to say that or go that route or what. It's just a bunch of just garbly gook running around in my brain. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you. Anyhow, as Christians, you don't have the luxury to sit back and just let things be as they are. You don't have the luxury just to sit back and be complacent, apathetic, so on and forth. Yeah, you get my drift. Because the devil's working 24-7. And he's been working for a long, long time. Thousands and thousands of years. He's been working. And as Christians, you don't have that. You haven't, you haven't, your forefathers and, and people, they, 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 they kind of got lax on this. Why? Because Satan has come in and screwed with their minds. Satan has come in and said, "Oh, government is your is your is your lord. Government is your master. Government is your power." It's like, no, that's all man. That's the beast. That's Satan. Only master, only lord, God is the one in heaven. That is it. Period. No man. All right. No man, no government, just one almighty powerful being that controls everything in existence. He can take the existence and there will be no existence. <laughs> I mean, he, he, could, he, could take, he could take these planets and run them like a pinball machine and they're all just bouncing off each other, exploding and falling. I mean, you know, he could do it if he wanted to. He could send an asteroid belt through here and just just eliminate this planet like you wouldn't believe. He could do anything he wants because he is God. But the devil got you believing otherwise. Go, the devil wants you to be complacent. Just sit back and go, oh man, you can't, you can't, you can't fight City Hall. No, maybe you can't. But through God, you can. Maybe, and, and God can do it all. God can do anything he wants. There ain't nothing you can do to stop it. So, just remember that. You, you don't have time to be complacent. Yes, you got to pray. And you got to stand firm in your convictions. God's convictions, not yours. I mean, I kind of misspoke there. But your convictions should be God's convictions. You know, if you're aligned with God's moral laws and, and, and godly things, you you they become yours. Like I said before, you'll you will lose your identity. They'll say your name it's like who are you know, in your tombstone, they're going to put your name and your when you were born and when you died. It's like, I never died. I, my body, what you see, is just transformed and I went to heaven or I went to hell. But I never died. My soul lives on. Your name? What's that matter? What, who are you glorifying? God. You are one in the body of Christ. And if you believe in Christ, you believe in his moral laws and, 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 and righteousness and, 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 and trying to do the best you can do for yourself and you keep coming to him for guidance and wisdom. 
So it's not hard, but it is hard. See? You understand what I'm saying, though, because you lose your identity because you become a a claw, you know, uh, uh, in, in the body of Christ. You become one in the body of Christ. So you don't have a personal identity because your identity is in Christ. I mean, you go to you go to heaven. I mean, you think you're gonna are oh, you gonna know your name? No, probably not. You know, I, you know, it's like it's like you think you you're an individual in heaven. You're going to worship God. You're going to thank God. Like what you're supposed to be doing here. Thy will be done. On earth as in heaven. He's already told you. That's the Lord's prayer. <laughs> Man didn't make that up. Almighty made that. I already told you. Heaven's run on a different different uh, wavelength. He didn't say it's going to be done on, you know, earth, you know. He didn't say that. He said it's going to be done as in heaven. Individuals. You're one in Christ. Just remember that. You have a lot of brothers and sisters. You've never met. You don't know. So when you get frustrated with someone, remember. 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 You don't know who's a Christian or not. I mean, when you first, you don't know these things right off the bat. I mean, you don't have a little thing that says good, bad, good. You, you, you don't have that. I mean, you got a gut instinct that God gives you. But he says you'll know them by their works. And the devil's one slick-talking son of a gun. He will trick you and fool you, and boy, he is smooth. Just remember that. So anyhow, so when you get upset with somebody that does something, or does this or that, remember. People slip and they fall. And God says, come to me, repent. Start over. Try her again. So when somebody does something to you, just like, okay, I forgive you. <laughs> Let's start over again. That's the best advice you can probably give about anybody. Oh, there's a lot more, but I'm just saying. Just remember that. You're going to slip. You're going to do stupid things. And you want you sure want somebody to forgive you. So you gotta forgive others. Sometimes it's really hard because sometimes the hurt goes very deep depending on who it is. But you try and keep working at it. Giving it to God. So anyways, like I said, I'm going to try to keep these a little shorter. <laughs> so I go to talk really fast. You can, who does that? <laughs> uh, ben Shapiro, that's it. Uh, <laughs> that guy talks fast. A lot of times I get on here and I just kind of uh, <laughs> drone on and on. 
that guy, he gets on there and blah, 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 blah. it's like, man, that slow down. Man, man. I'm having a hard time kind of putting all your pieces and words together here. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine this in my brain. You got to slow down. <laughs> He's running on a whole nother wavelength, which ain't bad. But, like I said, keep praying for one another. Cut them some slack. Don't go flying off the handle at somebody because they're having a bad day. We all have bad days. Some of us more than others. But some of us, man, all we want is to kind of like be left alone. Not to be crowded. Some people like the city and some people don't. Some people like the desert, some people don't. Some people like the mountains, some don't. That's what it takes. All kinds. But one thing they should have all in common is Christ. So they're all reading from the same book, from the same script. So y'all take care. Man, I'm rooting for you. I'm sure there's a lot of other people rooting for you too. God is, always. God's there, always. He's there right beside you. His angels are there. Holy Spirit, it's all there. You can't... It's there. Everywhere. Can't escape it. So, folks, you all take care. Thank God. And if you're having problems, keep praying. Keep praying for one another. So. We'll talk to you later.